Hi, my name is Reggie Hamill. In the next seven minutes, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in order to never pay for another drop of gas again. You'll discover why your forbidden fuel source, something that costs under 70 cents per gallon but runs cleaner and performs better than even the highest grade gasoline, is your key to reducing your fuel consumption by at least 80% while saving you $1,500 or more per year. In this presentation, I'm also going to expose an incredibly dangerous secret, something that big oil has spent billions of dollars in over 100 years trying to keep you from ever finding out about. And once you know what it is, you'll realize that everything you need to power your car or even your home is already sitting in your refrigerator, your trash can, and even your backyard at this very moment. In fact, once you've learned about this suppressed fuel source, something that's far more effective than hydrogen power, solar power, electricity, biomass, or even hydrogen oil, and which 35,219 Americans like you have already discovered. You'll feel like you've been transported back into the good old days, a time when 20 bucks could keep your car running for weeks and where Sunday drives were an American tradition, not a death blow to your wallet. You'll never have to look at the price board above the gas station and begin performing complex mental calculations, adding sums and carrying the ones in order to figure out how many gallons of black gold you can actually afford. And you'll never again experience that sinking feeling that comes from telling your children that you just can't go on that road trip you've talked about all year because the cost of gas is just too high and it's out of the family budget. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I can power my car for less than 70 cents per gallon indefinitely with materials found in my own home, why have I never heard of this before? The answer to that question is rooted in one of the greatest cover-ups in American history perpetuated by a sinister and ruthless billionaire who for decades was considered to be one of the most powerful human being on the planet. And his boundless greed single-handedly led to the deaths of tens of millions of innocent civilians, the bloody rise of dozens of deadly dictators, and even the world's most catastrophic environmental disasters. I'll give you the full story in just a moment. And of course, I'll also tell you what this total gasoline replacement is and how you can use it today to free yourself and your family from being slaves to the oil mafia. But first, let me take 30 seconds to explain who I am and how I came to discover that our nation's entire dependence on gasoline is nothing but a mass manufactured lie. As I mentioned, my name is Reggie. And for over 30 years, I was employed as a scientist at one of the largest chemical processing plants in the United States. Mostly my job was to create transmutations, which is just a fancy way of saying I was paid to change the properties of chemicals. There's no doubt that I was blessed to have had the same job for so long. But as the economy continued to deteriorate, and as the cost of everything from groceries to gas continued to skyrocket over the last 10 years, it started becoming harder and harder to keep my family afloat. Have you ever felt that sick feeling in your stomach because your children are hungry and you simply can't afford to spend a dollar more at the supermarket? Or sat at the kitchen table late at night going through your bills with a pen and paper trying desperately to figure out what you can cut down on and which payments you can get away with making a few weeks late? In late 2008, that was the situation I began finding myself in. And while at first I was able to make some simple decisions like no longer having cable TV and only driving the family car when it was 100% necessary, things kept getting worse until I reached my breaking point. It was early September of 2010, and my daughter Sarah came to me with a piece of paper from her school. It was an order form for a gym uniform. They wanted a check for $30 to pay for it. This amount should have been nothing. And yet, as I looked into her tiny little eyes and held that single piece of paper that she'd so carefully placed in her backpack to give to her daddy. It was all I can do not to begin crying right in front of her. We just had so many bills. I was already behind by a month on the power. Our refrigerator was already bare to the bones, and a simple $30 was going to force me to make huge decisions about what to pay and what to delay. Which is why, after I wrote her a check with trembling hands and sent her to her room, I immediately went to the computer and started looking at how much money I could get for my car. I figured that if I can get even $6,500 for my vehicle, that would be enough to help keep us afloat for the next year or two. And that wasn't even to mention the massive amount of money I could save on gas, which when I ran the calculations I realized was costing me roughly $1,900 a year. 
Now, let me pause here for a moment to point out something you may already know. The cost of gasoline in this country has exploded in the last five years. In 2008, the average price was around $1.82 per gallon. In 2010, it averaged around $3.15 per gallon. And by 2012, the average price for a gallon of gasoline in this country was $3.87. Even today, with the price of gas down to around $3.40 a gallon, it's still almost $2 per gallon more than it was just a few years back. And the craziest part is, is that the U.S. is producing more oil today than we have in close to two decades. In fact, the last time our country was pumping this much oil was in 1995, when the average price per gallon was $1.35. But the price of gasoline will never be that low again. The Big Seven, who control almost 90% of all oil production in the world, have become obsessed with squeezing out every higher profit, even if it's at the expense of bleeding hardworking American families dry. If you want proof of that, just look at the facts. In 1995, Royal Dutch Shell, the world's largest oil company, recorded $8.3 billion in revenue. In 2013, their total revenues were $485 billion. During this same period, ExxonMobil's revenues climbed from $37 billion in 1995 to $453 billion in 2013. Today, just these two global conglomerates bring in more than 175 countries in the world while the Big Seven control more money than all but four countries on the globe. These global corporations are so large that they are literally untouchable by the U.S. government. All it takes is one severe cut of oil production to put a stranglehold on the entire United States economy. They literally have the power to set gasoline prices to $5, $10, or $15 per gallon if they want to which would make transporting food, flying planes, moving freight on trains, and even commuting the work entirely impossible. And while $10 per gallon sounds too terrifying to be true, that's exactly where we're headed. It's why they've been slowly but surely raising the price of gas up continuously. If they went to $10 a gallon overnight, it would cause mass outrage. But if they keep making slight increases at a time and blaming it on the Arabs, the economy, or supply and demand, they know their profits can reach a trillion dollars in revenue, making them modern kings who lord over we, their subjects. Point blank, let me lay it out for you. The oil companies think they own us. And like the worst drug dealers in the world, they have had 99% of the world's population hopelessly addicted to their product. So yes, I was angry as I began pouring through online auto-listing websites, setting up accounts, and writing descriptions for a car I didn't want to change. But what I didn't realize at that moment was that this seemingly terrible decision to forfeit my car would lead me to a discovery that would change my life and that will change your life forever, too. I was on a Ford's Motor Forum looking around to see if anyone was interested in my car, a 2003 Ford Escape. As I began going through posts, I found one that caught my eye. It was from a user named Classic T, and he was asking if the original Model T had been designed to run an alcohol. To be completely honest, at first I thought it was a dumb question. I knew cars could run on alcohol, but I didn't think they'd ever been built to run on it. But as I kept reading and saw comment after comment saying yes, my curiosity was piqued. So I began doing research, and sure enough, I began finding more and more proof that the original Model T was designed by Henry Ford to run on both gasoline and alcohol. He believed that an automobile with multiple fuel options would be more appealing to a mass market, which is exactly who he was targeting. Not only that, but I even found a statement from Ford Motor Company verifying that the first Model T concept in 1896, all the way up until 1919, Ford actually viewed alcohol as the preferred fuel for his automobiles. So at this point, my curiosity was really piqued. I began pouring through dozens of old articles, archives, and research websites. And what I kept finding was that for every article I read, every piece of information I scoured, there was one name that always seemed to pop up. John D. Rockefeller. Now, you've probably heard that name before, and you probably know he was an oil tycoon in the early 20th century. Originally producing oil to power trains and industrial equipment, Rockefeller soon realized the massive potential of the automobile, and he was captured by Henry Ford's vision of putting a car in the possession of every member of the American middle class. To Rockefeller, it was obvious if every car ran on gasoline, he would become a god among men. After all, 
he held a complete monopoly on oil. Driven by greed, he began exerting intense pressure on Henry Ford to stop telling people that his automobiles could run on alcohol. And while the young entrepreneur from Detroit was destined for untold wealth, at the time he was a fledgling entrepreneur with almost all of his limited money tied up in his company. Terrified that an alcohol-powered automobile would cost him billions, Rockefeller now moved to force Ford's hand. He began donating millions of dollars to the temperance movement, which was pushing to enact a prohibition in the United States. By spending the modern-day equivalent of billions of dollars and by using his money to bribe, pay off, or otherwise influence the members of Congress, Rockefeller almost single-handedly succeeded in enacting prohibition into law in the 1920s. The sale of alcohol was banned, and with it, Ford's fate. Along with the fate of our entire nation, was sealed. We would become a nation addicted and enslaved to gasoline. In the following decades, Rockefeller's fortune swelled to $320 billion, making him one of the three richest human beings ever to live. And yet, while the greedy monopolist got richer, his actions have had destructive consequences for the rest of the world. Every single U.S. conflict in the Middle East over the last 100 years has been driven by oil. Our addiction has led to the death of millions of humans abroad and the execution of terrorist attacks at home. Meanwhile, we stand in line at the pump paying whatever amount per gallon the big oil companies, who, by the way, are all direct descendants of Rockefeller's monopoly, wants us to pay. But it doesn't have to be this way. In fact, that's why I'm writing you this letter today. Even though Ford and his automobile makers that followed him stopped publicly acknowledging that their vehicles could run on alcohol, Virtually no significant change has occurred in the design of the automobile engine in over 100 years, which led me to realize that if a car could run on alcohol back then, it should be able to run on alcohol today. Think about it. 90% of gas in the U.S. already has between 10 to 15% ethanol in it, and there are hundreds of gas stations across the country right now that offer E85, which is 85% grain alcohol. So why is it that we keep thinking that our cars need gas? I started doing more research to determine if there was any reason why other types of alcohol wouldn't work in an automobile. And there wasn't. As a chemist, I can tell you that the chemical makeup of high concentration alcohol and gasoline are extremely similar. They both create energy and there's no magical component in gasoline that cars need. In fact, one of the only differences is that alcohol energy is basically net zero when it comes to environmental damage, whereas gasoline production fills the air with pollutants and chemicals. Next, I began looking around to see if anyone else was fueling their car with alcohol. There were a few people on the Internet who said they were, and they were doing it by purchasing a home distillery setup from a company out of Massachusetts. It turned out that for about $3,000, that company would come to your house and build a distillery for you. That's really cool, but I didn't have that kind of money to spend. In addition, the distilleries that they were building were huge structures, and I simply didn't have that space in my backyard for something like that. And so I set to work, drawing on my knowledge of chemistry to figure out how I could make extremely high-grade alcohol fuel in my backyard and with very little space. It felt like a daunting task at first. But then I thought about all of the bathtub bootleggers who made massive amounts of alcohol in a small tub during Prohibition. If they could make incredibly strong stuff like moonshine in a 30-gallon bathtub, couldn't I make 30 gallons of fuel-grade alcohol in a small little space as well? It took dozens of attempts, but eventually I designed the perfect mini distillery. Better still, it was made of nothing but a few small parts and pieces, most of which I'd salvaged from a local junkyard. Total, my final structure cost about $150 to build. The next step was tackling how to actually make the alcohol without spending a fortune. Corn and wheat are great for this task, but they require a massive agricultural operation that I and 95% of Americans simply can't pull off. Plus, growing and maintaining crops is extremely time-consuming and expensive. So yet again, I draw on my chemistry experience to think about what else could be turned into alcohol. And the more I thought about this, the more I realized that virtually any organic matter was a prime candidate. Milk, beans, leftover salad, pretty much anything you can think of, even stuff that's sitting in your trash can right now, can be easily transformed into high-strength alcohol. Remember, there's not magic formula in the fuel your car engine needs. It just has to have energy, and that's what alcohol is. I tried dozens of different materials and kept the list. 
Incredibly, about 95% of the plants, veggies, and even dairy products I used were perfect. In December of 2012, I filled my gas tank with homemade alcohol for the first time. It's been over 14 months now, and I've been to the gas station exactly twice. I can drive all my cars wherever I want, and my average cost to make 30 gallons of gas is around $20 or 66 cents per gallon. It felt so good to know that no matter what happened with gas prices, even if they rose to rocket high levels, I'd never be paying more than a dollar per gallon again. That I'd never have to feel like I was lining the overstuffed pockets of big oil just so I can get to work or take my kids to school. And I realized that I needed to share my process and my home distillery blueprint with as many hardworking Americans as I possibly could. I believe that it's your God-given right to be free, not to be controlled by the faceless corporations who think they own you, which is why today I want to give you the opportunity to take back that freedom. Introducing the Free Power Secrets Program. The Free Power Secrets Program is a complete step-by-step -step guide showing you everything you need to know in order to start powering your car, tractor, truck, or anything else that has a motor on homemade alcohol fuel by the end of the week. The construction is shockingly simple. You can build this even if you have trouble hammering a nail or you're elderly and have trouble bending or kneeling for long periods of time. And there's no knowledge of chemistry or how cars work required. Because you'll be producing alcohol that runs just like gasoline, you can also use it to power a generator, slashing your power bill by 75% or more in the very first month. And to make sure construction is completely painless for you, I'm giving you the over-the-shoulder, step-by-step video instructions. Simply watch what I'm doing and copy me. The whole building process takes less than two hours. And because it's so unique, it makes a great family bonding activity. Better still... The entire home distillery is about the size of your bathtub, meaning you can put it virtually anywhere. Place it in an unseen corner of your backyard or on the side of your house. This tiny, odorless contraption is so inconspicuous, no one will ever know it's there. Your new distillery will only require a few parts, which can be found in your local hardware store or at a junkyard to build. In fact, many of these components are probably sitting around in your backyard, garage, or storage shed right now. Even if you were to use only brand new store-bought materials to create the distillery, you'd still spend less than $170 to do it. You'll also receive the complete materials list, the building plans, and the illustrated blueprints. Beyond the construction guide, I'll also show you exactly how to create your fuel. You'll get a complete list of organic materials that can be quickly converted into fuel, and you'll watch me do it so that you know exactly how the process works. There are zero modifications that need to be made to your vehicle. Virtually all engines, even your home generator, can easily run on alcohol. And if you do find yourself in a situation where you want or need to add gasoline, you'll still be able to with no worries or complications. The method in Free Power Secrets is completely safe. There's no dangerous fuels, fumes, or flames to worry about. It's actually a very simple chemical process, quite similar to what happens if you let apple juice ferment. This fuel source works around the year, too. Alcohol doesn't freeze, so you can power all of your vehicles you want, even in the dead of winter. Plus, the fuel actually burns cleaner, meaning it's better for your engine than regular unleaded gas. And keeping your home distillery running at peak output requires very little time or maintenance. You'll end up spending about five minutes each day adding garbage scraps or grass and leaves to your converter, and that's it. Then just perform a 20-minute checkup once a month, and you're good to go. Imagine how good it will feel to know that you never have to pay Shell, BP, Chevron, or any other extortionist oil conglomerate for gas again. To save $2,000 or more in the next year on fuel costs simply by spending 35 minutes per week out in your backyard. Just think about how much certainty free power secrets will give you. Even if the price of gas rises to $5 per gallon tomorrow, you'll be completely immune from the panic and the financial chaos that follows. You'll be able to drive any vehicle that you own as much as you want, even as others are turning to overcrowded buses, trains, and other unreliable forms of public transportation. You can even sell your excess fuel at an honest profit, bringing your family extra income while helping your friends and neighbors to achieve gasoline independence too. You'll be able to generate around 30 gallons of fuel at a time. And even if you were to just sell a third of this to your neighbors at $2 a gallon, you'd be getting the other 20 gallons for free. And you'll do it without having to spend $3,000 to buy a professionally installed distillery or buying any fancy converters. 
Now I know that a man is only as good as his word, and here's my promise to you. All you have to do is follow the video instructions and your step-by-step guide, and you'll be able to create your own evergreen, low-cost, and low-maintenance alternative fuel source. You'll be able to do it no matter what your age, physical condition, ability, or know-how, and you will become completely free from the clutches of big oil forever. So how do you get started generating free power? By now you probably realize just how liberating getting free power secrets is. And you're likely also curious to know what the investment cost is for you to receive the step-by-step video guides, illustrated blueprints, and materials lists needed to build it. There's nothing like what I've created in the world. People do make moonshine in their bathtubs, and you can buy large and expensive home distillery setups. But what I have done is taken the best of both these alternatives and turned them into a small home-based setup that produces dozens of gallons of homemade car-safe fuel each day. And, of course, there are other options beyond alcohol fuel out there. If you live in a major city, they may have a hydrogen pump or two. So you can go pay $40,000 for a hydrogen-powered vehicle or $7,500 for fuel tank conversion. Or you can buy a $50,000 Tesla or other electric car, but you'll be stuck charging them overnight and driving all across the city to find a high-voltage charger. And what happens if the battery dies while you're out on the wrong side of the tracks? You could also purchase one of those home distillery setups that I keep talking about. But even if you had both the extra space and $3,000 to pay for one, why would you do it when you can make your own for around $170 in as little as two hours? So take a moment to think about these alternatives. Are any of them even real options at all? Ultimately, your biggest concern isn't money. It's for your freedom. It's about fighting back against the gasoline conglomerates now and not helping to add to their combined $5 trillion in yearly profits. No longer being looked at as a dangling piece of meat by big oil monarchs and leaders, greedy men who think they are above the law and who pay themselves as though they were kings, and never again being forced into supporting violent foreign rulers who oppress their own people or Middle Eastern terrorists who hate America, but who accept our oil company's checks with big open arms. This is about taking back your power. It's about becoming totally independent and self-reliant. And it's about taking the actions today that will keep yourself and your family protected from corporate gouging and greed for decades to come. No matter what, even if gas prices hit $20 a gallon, you will still enjoy the quality of life you deserve. In fact, you will be in a powerful position to even become richer by selling your excess fuel. I know that you don't want to be on your couch five years from now watching the news, seeing a story about how gas just hit another record high and suddenly remembering this video. You don't want to regret not taking the simple actions today that would have made you totally gasoline independent instead of wondering how you'll be able to afford getting to work or having to leave your house two hours early every morning to beat the lines at the bus station. I've set the regular retail price for the free power secrets to $127, and every single family member and friend, along with the more than 35,219 people who've already built this, tell me that's way too low. While I disagree, I do understand their point. Think about it. If your car holds 14 gallons, you'll fill up once a week, and the price of gas is a low $3.30 per gallon. That's $2,217.60 you'll be paying in gas over the next year. And $22,176 you'd be handing over to some of the world's most evil and greedy oil companies in the coming decade. Now think about what those numbers will be if you're using the method outlined in Free Power Secrets video program instead. It costs about $20 to make 30 gallons, so about $10 to fill a full 15-gallon tank you'd save $1,737.60 in your first year, $17,376 over the coming decade. That's enough money to buy a new car or put your child through college or purchase four around-the-world plane tickets with almost unlimited miles. And these estimates don't even begin to touch the surface of what will happen if the price of gas really rises, which virtually all experts agree it will. Five years from now, With the price of gas around $5 per gallon, you'll still be paying about $0.66 per gallon if you get free power secrets today. It's a no-brainer. So $127 should seem like the deal of a lifetime. 
But after spending 40 years in servitude to the oil cartels, of seeing my friends' and family's wallets emptied at the gas tank just so they can be getting to work, just so that they can make enough money to keep getting more gas, after seeing what our nation's dependence on oil has led to, of watching the terrorist attacks of September 11th, of seeing us lose thousands of young American lives in Iraq and Afghanistan, I believe that $127 is too much money. You need to have this, and you need to get it today. Now, the fact that you're still with me shows that you are dead serious about saving anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 per year in your gas expenses and of making sure that your children and loved ones are never again trapped in the pocket of the oil monopolies. Which is why, for a limited time only, you can get free power secrets and reduce your gas costs by at least $17,000 over the coming decade and beyond for just $49.97. But you have to act right this second by clicking the Add to Cart button directly below this video. Once you do that, you'll be taken to a secure checkout page where you'll enter your details. As soon as you hit enter, you'll have full access to the video guides, the blueprints, the materials list, and everything else you need right on your computer. You'll also be able to view these items on a smartphone or a tablet and print out all the documents for your safekeeping. And because I truly want you to understand how sincerely serious I am about helping you to gain freedom from the oil elites if you choose to invest in free power secrets right now. Plus, you'll also get free lifetime support. That's because while 35,219 have already discovered just how easy it is to build your own small, simple, and low-cost alcohol fuel distillery, I do realize that there will always be people who have questions about construction or who want to know how they can scale their distillery to make even more fuel. So, if you act today, you'll receive my personal email address and 24-7 access to an entire U.S.-based support team that's been hired specifically to help you produce fuel within 48 hours of hitting Add to Cart. If you are ever unsure of what you should be doing or have a question, simply email me and my team and we'll drop everything to give you an answer. Once you're part of our growing community of alternative fuel rogues, you will never have to worry about whether or not you can really build this or have a burning question that you can't find an answer to. All it takes to have the step-by-step -step video guides, your full-color building blueprint and instructions, your materials list, and your lifetime support is clicking that big Add to Cart button directly below this video. Is it starting to sink in that there's an easy, low-cost way to never stop at another gas station again as long as you live? To keep your family insulated from gas prices no matter what outrageous price the monopolies decide to fix them at? You'll even be going green when you do this. Making your alcohol fuel emits zero pollutants, making it a source of net zero energy. The only thing that's standing between you and freedom from the pump is the Add to Cart button that's below this video. It's time to push through that barrier and get your hands on something that you deserve, your God-given freedom. And all it takes is three more clicks and you will change your life forever. Plus, when you act now, you'll also be protected by my total 100% satisfaction guarantee. If making your own distillery takes you more than two hours, if you find that you're not producing as much fuel as I say you will, if the cost per gallon is higher than I'm claiming, or you're not satisfied for any other reason, you won't pay me a penny. Here's how it works. Join the 35,219 other Americans who have already made the decision to take back their independence from the gasoline companies by clicking the Add to Cart button below. Start watching the video guides Print or download your step-by-step -step illustrated blueprints and take an hour to gather the materials you need to build this. And if for the next 60 days you are unhappy with your decision for any reason, or even if your cost per gallon is one instead of $0.66 cents and you want it to save more, just send an email to the address I'll give you on the checkout page and I will instantly refund your purchase with no questions and no hassles. Ultimately, the choice is yours. Your first option is not to do anything. This presentation will be over in a second, and you can just click away from the screen. You could try hard to forget what you've just seen the next time you're at the pump and find that the price of gas is back up to $3.60. You could keep limiting your driving to only essential activities like driving to work and taking the kids to school, and you can try to constantly suppress that guilt that comes from knowing that every time you fill up, you're putting more money into the pockets of some of the greediest corporations on earth. 
The second option is to either build your own distillery or hire a company to do it for you. Both can be done, but they come with some major complications. For one thing, there are very few step-by-step guides available for creating fuel from alcohol. You will find something about making moonshine, but most of materials won't tell you how to make stuff that's strong enough to safely power your vehicle. And hiring someone to build a towering home distillery will set you back thousands of dollars. So why wouldn't you just spend $49.97 and two hours of your time to do it all yourself instead? This brings us to your third choice. To get free power secrets today with zero risk. When you make this decision, you'll be joining more than 35,000 other Americans who already realize that paying for gas is like lighting their money on fire. As soon as tomorrow, you'll be generating enough fuel to run your car for weeks, and it'll cost you less than 70 cents per gallon to do it. Plus, you'll have the step-by-step instructions, blueprints, and materials list to create your distillery and your first batch of fuel in around two hours. And you'll have lifetime access to 24-7 support, so you'll never feel frustrated if you have a question and need an answer. My presentation will be over in about 25 seconds from now, so you have to make your choice quickly. For about the price of one fill-up at the gas station, you can never have to go to a gas station again. But more than that, you'll never have to feel like you're hostage to the oil monopolies. You'll never have to feel that anxiety that comes from seeing that the price of gas has shot up by 30 cents per gallon or more overnight. You'll even be providing your children and loved ones with a brighter future. You'll be showing them that they don't need to be a slave to any company or corporation. You'll be handing over a secret that will save them tens of thousands of dollars over the course of life. That will help keep them out of debt. And that can even start them down the path to being entrepreneurs who sell their excess gas for a fair profit. But you have to take action now because this is your last chance. Click the Add to Cart button below this video this very second and stand alongside the more than 30,000 honest Americans who are fed up with big oil and their lies. Once you follow the method outlined in Free Power Secrets, send me an email. Let me know just how much money you're saving. I love to hear about how my product is changing people's lives across the country. You'll have my personal email address as soon as you make your investment. And you can also shoot me a message if you have any questions. Thank you and God bless. Reggie.